Smells better for mobile geeks. And here we have the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. This is a 6.4 inch phablet from Sony. It's only 6.5 millimeters thick and it has a 1080p TFT display. Uh, under the hood, we have a Snapdragon 800 processor running at 2.2 gigahertz with two gigabytes of RAM. But what I'm going to be taking a closer look at today is Xperia Home. So Sony has made an effort to offer a little bit of customized options within it. So you can see that there was a display menu there. If we head back to the home screen and we head into the albums, uh, because this is such a large device, swiping from either side will actually reorganize them, which is pretty nice. And if we go into movies, uh, one of the cool things is, is that the last video that you played, it'll play the last 10 minutes automatically right there. Now if we head into the settings, there's a nice uh, couple of options within the display. So you can turn uh, the X reality on and off, as well as if we head back, uh, one of the things that I always love to see is a high level of battery customization. So let's just check out power management. Ooh, let's head back. So you can see here that it says two days, eight hours, right? So it's switched on to stamina mode. Four days, 16 hours. So we're not sure how accurate these are, but at the same time, it's pretty, it's actually, it's pretty amazing to kind of check out something that says four days, five days of standby. Now, one of the other things that we're going to be seeing is uh, a lot of single-handed use options come up. So if we go into the keyboard mode, you can see you can put this to either side. Uh, because this is still early on, uh, they haven't launched everything just yet. The dialer will actually also come with a one-handed option. So as far as uh, the device goes itself, I spent quite a bit of time with it already here at the show. Uh, the one thing you'll notice is it's a fingerprint magnet. They're, they're meant to have a, an anti-fingerprint coating on here, but it really doesn't seem to be working. I'm hoping that this isn't indicative of what the final device is going to look like. And uh, I've actually shot a couple more videos uh, about the display and how the pen works. So you can actually use any kind of uh, pencil, pen, anything made out of metal in order to use it. And it has uh, an extra hard coating on it that will allow you to use it without worrying about your device getting scratched. Uh, one of the other things that I found interesting was uh, how this actually works. I have a video going more in depth into those features, but basically this is a highly specialized capacitive touch display. And how it works is it, um, all things that conduct metal, like the carbon in this pencil, the metal on those pens over there, uh, it, the display will actually change a, sense a change in wattage. So I, I found that really interesting. So it's a highly customized uh, capacitive touch display from Sony. So that's just been a, a quick walkthrough, taking a closer look at some of the things that Sony has to offer uh, with its new Xperia Home on the Ultra, or Z Ultra. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, taking a closer look at phablets. Bye.